if this is how you play games on your PC, then just stop. And don't worry, I'm here. I'll tell you how to play any AAA title on your PC or laptop without any lags or stutters. And for that, we have around 12 optimization steps. So make sure to watch the full video and not skip any of them for best results. But before that, make sure to subscribe to the channel because 90 around 98% uh, of you are not subscribed so yeah make sure to subscribe to the channel and without wasting much time let's get into it okay so the first one is obviously our power options so just go in the search bar and type power here you will see choose a power plan in here you will have balanced high performance power saver ultimate performance for some ultimate performance might not be here these amd power options will be available if you have an amd processor so just ignore these and select high or ultimate if you have in case you do not have ultimate you can just go ahead and and watch this video uh, the link will be in the description and it will be appearing on the top right corner right now so you can go ahead and create this ultimate performance power plan yourself once it is set to ultimate then just close it now comes time for the storage click storage and here you will see storage sense as it says automatically free up space delete temporary files and manage locally available cloud contents so just go ahead and turn it on clean up recommendation and uh, let's see warning recycle bin obviously we can just clean up the recycle bin in case you have much more stuff in it then you can clean up a lot of space so let's just leave it as it is because it will clean up in the background by the way let me just change up the time really quick i don't know why it is 3:39 a.m okay now it's good okay uh one other thing is just closing the background apps right uh like metal is running in the background i don't need it right now so just click quit and same applies for discord if you do not use discord really often you can go ahead and click quick discord and utorrent and steam and all other apps because they just eat up data when you are not even using them in the background so just close all the background apps okay now uh, here is an important thing just open your web browser and not just chrome if if you use edge firefox or brave you can just go ahead and do the same click on settings and go to system and go to system here you will see continue running background apps when Google Chrome is closed. By default, this is on. So make sure to turn it off. Because as you can see what it says, right? It will keep running in the background if you do not close it. Just Okay, another step is done. Now, you you have what you have to do is just upgrade your graphics card. Not upgrade, actually update your graphics card. What you can do is just go ahead and go to NVIDIA control panel or GeForce experience if you have NVIDIA and you can check for updates and download it from there. Like drivers and check for updates, it will check for the updates and then you can download and install the latest drivers. As you can see I have installed the latest drivers two day, uh, four days ago so not really need to check anything and in case you do not have these. I don't know why you're not having these but just in case you can just go ahead and type nvidia gpu drivers and same goes for amd and don't worry i'll just drop down the link for nvidia and amd drivers in the description so you don't have to go and search up like this so you can just select the one that you have like 10 and i have 1030 i know it's not really a great graphics card but that's all i have game ready and just click search there you have it you can go ahead and download it but since I already have it I'm not downloading it you can just go ahead and download it same goes for AMD and Intel as well now this option is very 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 important that is the FSR some of you might know about it some of you might not so let me just explain what FSR actually does uh, basically this option that you see right here AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution 2.0 obviously 2.0 is a better version of the earlier version obviously so what it does is upscaling basically 
uh, like as you can see right now this is the setting screen of God of War when I played God of War it was a bit laggy it wasn't freezing but yeah the frame rate was quite low so without decreasing the resolution because obviously I don't want the resolution to go low because things will appear blurry but with the help of FSR that is the AMD fidelity thing you are seeing right now in short FSR that is a technology by AMD which actually reduces the resolution but upscales it in such a way that images do not appear blurry or non sharp they actually appear good and you won't even know and there are options in FSR balanced performance ultra performance quality ultra quality so you can choose accordingly mostly I would recommend you to use balanced or you can just go ahead and choose performance if you like but just stick to balance that would be better and nowadays most of the games have FSR so you won't be facing an issue where the game is not supporting FSR like Spider-Man 2018 had FSR and obviously God of War does have this option as well and many other games there might be a few games which do not, do not have FSR but yeah if you have an AMD processor or a graphics card then you can go ahead and access this FSR thing and if you talk about DLSS let's just avoid it because DLSS is just for 3090 and above graphics card so if you have that much money you won't need to use DLSS and stuff and you don't need to watch this optimization video then so yeah FSR is better according to me so let's just move on now anyways uh, other thing is when you run games make sure to run it in full screen rather than windowed or full borderless window because when the app is in full screen most of the resources will be driven towards the app and it will be in the main focus without and one more thing that you can do is just right click on the game icon go to properties go to compatibility and disable full screen optimizations you can turn on this and turn off this and try both of them whichever helps you best because sometimes it does help sometimes it doesn't so yeah just try both of them and choose which, whichever is best for you now the other thing is just like you clean cache files in your phone it's time to remove some cache files from your PC you just type percent temp percent and you will see this temp folder just control A shift delete and delete everything and just skip the ones that cannot be deleted just hit windows R it's a easier option and type prefetch hit continue and do the same thing control A shift delete enter so this removes all the clutter files from your PC and those thinking that their data might be lost it won't happen because these are temporary useless files that are no longer useful okay so now just click on the start button again and type defrag you will see defrag and optimized drives so you can do it with both of your drives actually but since my games are in D drive mostly I will select D hit optimize and it will take some time for you things might be different it will show analyze first but I usually do it every now and then so it's not really available but make sure to defrag your drives and in case uh, you ever used Razer Cortex if you haven't noticed Razer Cortex also does the same it defrags your drives before launching a game so yeah you can just do it manually without the use of Razer Cortex because I sometimes feel Razer Cortex just slows down your PC I don't know it really does but it feels like anyways get your optimization you can just go ahead click change settings and set it to weekly daily would be too much and monthly would be way too long so weekly is better just click weekly ok and you are done another thing is CPU unpack I don't know if I have it in my PC right now ok I do have it in my PC I will drop down the link in the description so you can just go ahead and download it and run it on your PC and I have given the link of the older version of CPU unpack because the newer version is quite complex to use and yeah you can just go ahead and see how CPU Unparker is used it's not really difficult to use but just to, just a few clicks and your PC will be optimized and CPU Unparker did help me a lot back in the days when I had a low-end PC and I was playing Battlefield 4 so yeah it did help me a lot 
So make sure not to skip this CPU and Parker thing. Another one is using DirectX 12. Like if you have played GTA and other games, but let's just take the example of GTA 5. When you launch the game in the graphics options, you will see DirectX 11 and 12. Uh, so I would recommend you to use DirectX 12 because it uses resources much more properly than DirectX 11. And if you want, you can just go ahead and read articles on DirectX 11 versus 12 and decide for yourself. But mostly DirectX 12 is recommended. So use DirectX 12 if you ask me. So these were all the 12 optimization steps that I was talking about. And if you ask me which ones are the most important, I would say power option, background apps, obviously the closing of background apps, FSR, very, very important and CPU and Parker. So these are the main options that you need to focus on. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. I hope this video would be helpful for you when you apply these settings on a PC. And I hope all these steps help you like they helped me when I had a low end PC. Uh, well, that being said, see you soon in the next video. If you have any ideas for the next video, make sure to tell me in the comments and yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.